Hey, Winston and Scott Avery here. We are here to talk about real estate. Do we really talk about much more than real estate? No. I think that's all we talk about. We find some angle to discuss real estate and everything. What we got going on in our company right now? A lot. A lot. We're still uh, rehabbing properties that you bought last year. Um, smart move spreading out the rehabs uh, so you don't get hit with that cost all at once. We've, uh, but in the last uh, four months, we've opened five properties that you haven't had renters in before, which is really exciting because that's bringing more cash flow into the company, mm -hmm. which allows you to turn around and rehab more buildings and get more residents in. All right, everybody sit down because this number he's fixing to throw at you is probably going to startle you and I don't want anybody to fall over. How much money do we have in lost rents right now through rentals that are not finished on rehabs? Uh, we're running about $660 a day, 19800 ish a month in one neighborhood. So we got in one neighborhood that we own, we got 20000 a month in cash flow that we're not pulling in right now because the houses have not been rehabbed yet. So we bought... But last year we bought one neighborhood and then the year before last we bought one neighborhood. Both neighborhoods severely distressed. Yep. Tons and tons and tons of work. I mean, we're talking every house needing roofs, every house needing air conditioners, every house needing rehabs. Rents way, way, way under market value. So we did a lot of, want to raise rents, lost a ton of tenants. And, and it's just been a complete cycle of doing it. Not that we didn't expect it. We expected everything that's coming or that's, that's happening. Now, the cool thing is Jordan Landon has got a couple of vacancies right now, and that's it, but all of that neighborhood is basically done. Well, well Winston, I'm going to have to correct you. Both those rent units were rented today. We have zero available units in Jordan's Landing right now, but we have one that we're going to probably get. All right, I'm going to smile on that right there because <laughs> this will be the first time ever. We don't have a single rental available in Jordan's Landing? we got the two that we're rehabbing. Okay, so we got two units there we're still rehabbing, but everything else... And that would be, we got 46 rentals over there? Seven, I think. 47 well, rentals? I'm, 47 I'm is counting the office. Yeah. So we got 46 rentals over there, and right now we have two vacancies. Both vacancies are not ready to rent because we're still rehabbing. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. I'm not going to cry with that. So, yeah. so then we go over to Smithville. We have how many vacancies there? We have nothing available there either that is ready to rent. We have two available, but we have two appointments that are interested, they're doing their walkthroughs on Monday on Memorial Day. Okay. So those could be gone as of Tuesday. But right now we have two available. There's two that we just opened up. But we just finished those. Yeah, just finished. Yeah, a couple of days ago. The reason I said that is because a couple of days ago we was talking, he said we don't have anything available, okay. but everything we have is rented. So we've, we've freed up two more rentals, and now those are, they'll be rented next week for sure. Then, I'd be surprised if they won't. Then we're looking at how many how many more rentals we got over there that we need to rehab. Uh, we're That will take us down to 13 there. 13? Yeah. So so in those 13 rehabs, we're probably looking at um, somewhere a quarter of a million dollars to to make all that happen. Sure. Somewhere at least. There. Yeah. So we need about a quarter million dollars on that. Uh, we'll probably spend another quarter million dollars on roofs. Easily. Um, I think we've, we've done what? We've, we've re-roofed 15. 15 of the houses there. Yeah. And um, I talked to Carlos yesterday, and he said that they're fixing to jump on it again. Awesome. And um, and start doing another ten or fifteen of them, and then the air conditions are all. We replaced a couple, but we're still we're just replacing those as they go down. So we're not going in there and, and doing that. So what's what's our goal with that that neighborhood? Well, what you, you think? The goal is to have everything flipped by November. So we had what? We, we got a guy that's out, been going out there doing some dirt work for us on the weekends because we had really a half a dozen great houses. Guy. like him a lot. So Shane Jessup, he'll probably be in the class also. Shane Jessup, he's a, he is a dirt guy, does excavating. He's built subdivision roads and infrastructure for subdivisions. He owned a Homevestors franchise, used to own that. So he's, he's a guy that dabbles in wholesaling or has dabbled in wholesaling and can help you understand what the process is with wholesaling and, and Still stuff plays with like Tonka that. trucks. Yeah. 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 But um, so he's been going over there and we had houses that they haven't rented for 10 years before we bought this neighborhood. Because they flood. And, and because they flood. But really all that needed to happen to fix that flooding is some dozer work come in and be done and move the dirt. And, and that's, he's... He's Less about eighty yeah. percent done with that. We still got a few little issues. We went. We heard, Scott and I walked over there this weekend or this week, and saw that, and most of it was done. Just a few little issues. Yeah. We had a lot of, um, of stormwater issues there. Stormwater drainage issues. The drainage basins were 
washed out and he's got all that fixed. Yep. We've got several lots over there that we can build on. Our goal with this neighborhood is to, to do this first set of repairs and get the neighborhood in decent shape. Yeah. Then we're going to come back, not this year. No. Next year, we will probably start raising the rents again, which will then probably cost us maybe 10% of our renewals we'll lose. Yeah, but, you know, let me, let me cut in here. The rents were so low, you're still 25% below market value. The rents were value. 700 a month. Yeah, you're still 25% below market value, yeah. and you've increased them every year. So we're, we're still way behind market value, so we're trying to get the market value. Yeah. And then what we'll have to do for you, you know, we'll have to get these rented and bring the money in to do the next level of rehab, to actually take it from livable to desirable. So we don't know 100% what our goal is on this neighborhood, but, but what we're kicking around on this neighborhood is that we will come in and do the next tier of construction and bring that neighborhood up another step or two above where it is right now. And I think it's in good shape right yeah. now, but it'll bring it up another step or two. And then once we get that done, then we're talking about, it may put us two, three years out. But what we, what we want to come in at that point is, is take each one of those houses and do the retrofit of it and then sell the house. Yes. And maybe lease options, I don't know. Um, we may have somebody show up at the class to help us and un understand lease options a little bit more and talk to us about it. He actually offers a course. I haven't, I haven't got a commitment from Scott yet, but we will, that's Scott with Not one, me. Scott with, Scott one, with one T, Scott with one T and, um, we'll talk with Scott and see if he's going to come do that. And that could give him an opportunity maybe to, to help some people too. And, and the crazy thing is, you know, what, what I don't think we've mentioned is these are single family homes with garages. Mm -hmm. with attached garages so they're they're really good rentals uh, and as he's shared with you as Winston shared with you we don't have a problem renting them the problem is dumping too much money at one time and not recovering from that yeah and that that is where that is where we put ourselves in a bond two years ago yeah. I mean we 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 bought 10 million dollars worth of neighborhoods and then um with millions of dollars of rehabs three million probably if and, not more and no um you know no cash reserve on that, so everything we've done has been cash flowing out of the company. So money we bring in from the company, we're putting into these neighborhoods, fixing them up and stuff like that. So it's mm -hmm. it's a slow process. It's been a very painful process. I don't know that I would recommend people do that. That's been a a huge Maybe stress. Maybe by one, not it's, two. Yeah, the the first one I I bought would have been fine, but he wanted to sell the other one right away, and I didn't want to lose the deal. Would have been much better if I'd have sat on it for a year, though. You, the problem is that's over a hundred homes. Yeah, all of them need rehab. It's only ninety nine. Is it? Okay. 57, 42. That's right. Nine Is it? 46? 42. Huh? Jordan's Landing's 46. Yeah, right. 57 at Smithville. So what's that number? 99. It's always right? It's 100 homes. That is all. That's not 100. It's 99. Can't be cheating. So that's just a little update about some stuff that we're we're dealing with here and, and we're... Yeah. We're growing a company and, you know, getting, getting grassroots. We're currently, you know, trying to, to move you into that management position over overseeing everything in the company mm -hmm. and, and freeing everybody else up. And I'm excited. I really am excited about, about where we are and where we're going. Yeah. And, you know, it's been a long road to get us here, but we're here and, We can breathe, so. You know, and then you've got your new duplex going to be available to rent probably in three weeks. Two we weeks. got the new duplex that we've been we've been um, posting about every aspect of what we've done over there, and um, it's got about another two weeks left on three weeks left yeah. on it maximum, and it'll be rented. So that'll be a that'll be another, you know, thirty eight hundred. Yeah. That'll be another thirty eight hundred dollars a month worth of rent coming in for us, so we're excited about that move. And that mm -hmm. thing should cash flow pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you've done it right. Yep. So if y'all got any questions, please just put it in the comments. Let us know. We want to definitely keep inviting everybody to come to the seminar that we got coming up on June the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, where we will be teaching all facets of real estate. I'll be there. Scott Avery will be there. Look at the previous video we did. He's going to talk a little bit about what he's going to talk about. Plus, 
now as he acclimates himself and within our company more and more, he's learning more, so there's going to be a lot more um, little comments that you need to make and talk yeah. about and explain and just to just to help people be successful. Our only goal in these seminars is to make you a successful investor, for you not to put yourself on a line and take a bunch of risks that causes you to lose anything or everything. Um, there's always an opportunity to, to fail, but if you if you do everything properly, you can control what that failure rate looks like before yes. you ever start. You, you look at everything in advance before you do it and you say, this does not work for me, and you just don't do the deal. Yes. And that's where we are. We're looking at deals right now that we just, I'm just not, not buying. I'm not buying at that price. I'm not doing this at that price. So we'll see. I agree. Thank you all for watching. Have Thanks. a great day.